it's it is a black green black green matchup. It's the aggro version versus the delirium version. So Michael Ostrowski, his build on black green. Yeah, th this is this is similar to what we saw in the finals last weekend. You know, he's got scrap heap scroungers, uh, glint sleeve siphoners in the deck, um, aether sphere harvester. So let Brennan made short work of this last week. We'll see if he does it again here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Siphoner is quite a powerful card. The fact that it dies to Walking Ballista very yeah. easily, that's problematic. And Brennan will be the first player with a play. It is a copy of Walking Ballista, uh, but that'll get fatally pushed, and Michael takes one. I like the uh, flavor okay. of pushing a robot to death. <laughs> if it falls over and then just... <laughs> not in its programming to stand back up. <laughs> it's not a well program. It's a walking ballista, not a getting back up ballista. <laughs> All right, a follow-up is going to be the Glint Sleeve Siphoner to Ostrowski. So, you know, glad he got rid of the ballista in time. Mm -hmm. uh, this would have, actually, interestingly enough, uh, this is good that Michael was on the draw. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> lined up well. And having the uh, Aether Hub means they'll be able to draw a card next turn if it survives. Yeah, that one's not going to happen, though. Uh, Grasp of Darkness from Decandia will take care of the 2-1. And if these decks can just trade and trade in the early turns, you would think Decandio has a slight advantage in the later game. Yes. A Wine and Constrictor from Michael Ostrowski. His deck also plays very well with the card. Rish Car, Tireless Tracker, Verderous Gear Hulk. And Walking Blista, they're all in his deck as well. Something I like about Ostrowski's list a good amount is he has two main deck copies of Nissa Voice of Zendikar. That card yeah. is qu quite good in these mirrors. Uh, Decandio does have access to Ruinous Path. Two of the Slaughter can really wreck that one, but uh, if it goes unchecked, the card's very powerful. And it will be Rishkar from Ostrowski. Does this work? It No removal from Decandio, so not just one 1-1 one, one counter for both creatures. It's going to be two for both, and that's a big play for Michael. Yeah, no removal, no demon. Yeah, two energy from Aether Hub. A swing for four. And Brennan will go ahead and put the land in front of the... In front of the Winding Constrictor, so a trade happens there, and that's a big... But losing a land that early in the game on turn four, that's a big price for Brennan. Does he even have something like Verderous Gearhulk in his hand? It's going to put him a turn later on playing it. At least a turn. He has a fourth land drop, but no yeah. fifth one. Also, that was his second black source, so some of his removal... Could be off. Looks like a Traverse is in hand. Does have a Traverse. He also has Delirium already online. So he may be... We'll see what he Traverses for, if it's actually a land. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he'll Traverse for Evolving Wilds. I like that. Yeah. Wasn't planning on using the mana, so he just gets another land out of his deck. Yeah, and also he gets Revolt online so that he can fatally push away the Rishkar. Also great. Fancy little play there. <laughs> yeah, now I can get any, because he can get any land with Delirium online. Mm -hmm. We go back to Michael Ostrowski. It's going to be another Glint Sleeve Siphoner, now up to five energy, and it will be joined by a Scrap Heap Scrounger. And suddenly, you know, this looked bad for Brennan when Michael resolved the, pay the Constrictor in the Rishkar, but now that he gets an 8 8 Gear Hulk, maybe things are fine. Gear Hulk's good. The Glint Sleeve Siphoner is looking to draw some extra cards, so that, yeah. that is a problem. Yeah, looking at Ostrowski's removal, he's got two Fatal Push, four Grasp of Darkness. That's it. He actually has a lot of trouble with an 8-8. As many decks do. Yeah, well, I mean, if you look at the normal mirror, Brennan will have, you know, some ruinous paths to the slaughter. It's not as bad. Mm -hmm. 
He does have his own Virgilus Gearhulks, which can break this open. Yeah, and you know, and there's a lot to be said. You know, he could just put a bunch of counters, say, on a Siphoner. The card has Menace. Yep. I forgot that that card has Menace. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. A lot of text on that one. Swings in for two. It'll sneak. It's too scary for that robot to block, so it takes two. That 18 each. My giant robot is terrified. I don't like that. You can't scare a robot. You can't intimidate a robot, right? What if the robot was programmed to experience fear? Well, in the, well from watching Star Trek, see, in those situations, Data would deactivate his emotion <laughs> chip. Which, so that would be the play. <laughs> I, just, was, I just don't even know what to say. <laughs> what it was, it was really convenient. <laughs> Aether Sphere Harvester is the play for Michael Ostrowski. Three of vehicle, just in the aggro deck, none of those in Brennan's side. Card does not especially shine in this matchup. It does have, it can gain lifelink, which is nice. You know, when you're racing in, it gets an 8-8. You're going to have to be racing 8 so Mike Brennan is swinging in for 8. Ostrowski down to 10. You know, I think it would be great if Brennan's play was just something like another Gear Hulk making 8-8 eight, eight go. <laughs> and you're just like, wow, that's, that, that might just be good enough, you know? Yeah. I don't think he has it. Looks like his draw step was to the slaughter, which is pretty awkward against this, uh, this, this battlefield here. Scrap Heap Scrounger is quite good against that. Uh, there's no Planeswalker that it could take yeah. with it. Yeah. I mean, it gains him some life. Michael down to nine, drawing another extra card off the Siphoner. He has a Liliana the Last Hope, but he's, uh, even with a land drop, he's one mana away of getting back Rishkar and then turning up the pressure with that. Putting two plus one, plus one counters on the lifelink fire would be very significant. Yeah, I mean, every yeah every point of lifelink he can get will help him win this race. Be like a Baneslayer Angel. Well, that seems great. <laughs> Land five. Looks like he might have another Harvester in hand. Going to use the 3 2. I'm just saying how he wants to crew the harvester. How, how much the damage to energy balance matters. He's going to go for the ballista. Wa a 2 2 walk walking ballista. Make that a 1 1 walking ballista. In response, Brennan will cast to the slaughter. Well, well, that's fine, right? Ostrowski can just sacrifice the scrounger. Mm -hmm. I'll get it back later. And first we'll use it to crew his own harvester, then sack. And I think that the plan for the rest of Ostrowski's turn so involves no. casting that Liliana. Uh, it definitely makes sense. The Candio saves some life this way. Yeah. A swing for five. He's going to spend and makes an energy. Will he spend an energy to give lifelink? I think he will. Yeah. Yeah. So Sign Brian, me up for that. Yeah. You know, Michael's got another play. I believe he has another copy of Aether Sphere Harvester. And, you know, if you really want to race, you could just get lots of lifelink on the play. Yeah. And that's what he's going to do. It's another Aether Sphere Harvester. That's a good one. And just a land into Candio's hand. Yeah. Brennan is at 13. We're looking at. Second gear two. hulk, maybe? No, well, two swings, right? land. Two swings with the harvesters. That's 12 plus the one from the ballista is 13. And a lot of that has lifelink. Uh, Brennan's not going to win this race as it stands. Especially not with two lands. But it's like he doesn't really have another play, right? He just mm -hmm. He's going to attack. He kind of has to hope that Michael screws this up. Michael's going to crew the Harvester. Looks like he's going for a chump block. I mean, Brennan would be really happy if that happens, but... It's, he's just taunting it. Nah, no, he, <laughs> he goes to four. <laughs> All right, upkeep. I, I don't... Is he going to draw a card? Eh. He'd love a kill spell. That would just make this game easy. 
but he's got a count here. One life seems kind of negligible. Decandio doesn't have a way to give his Gear Hulk plus one. So if he gains six off of these Harvesters right, and goes up to nine and gets an A day. Rish Car? Oh, right. you're right. Okay. I mean, you can only put one counter on yeah. up to two creatures. You can't put two counters on one creature. You're right. Yeah, I would respect the Rish Car. He's, he's got a plan to win the game on the table already. Yeah, I, I think it looks fine. Michael, there's Michael, there's a t close choice for him too. Of course, we just Nisha, Nissa shrinks the Gear Hulk. Yeah, Liliana shrinks it. Yeah, yeah, Liliana shrinks yeah, it. Yeah, now that's two points. Uh, that, I love drawing cards. Let's yeah, do it. Drawing, drawing cards is great. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and crew both harvesters. Looks like he did not gain the life, or pay for the card. He is going to gain some life. That part's easy. Yes. So here we have two Aether Sphere Harvesters crewed up. Both are swinging. In the air, that'll be six damage. It looks like he's going to give one and both of them lifelink. Brennan will drop to seven. Michael will go up to ten. A lot of technical stuff to keep track of when you're playing with Aether Sphere Harvester, both yeah. crewing it and then giving it energy with, uh, giving it lifelink with the energy. Tireless Tracker from Ostrowski and Walking Ballista. Yeah, that's three toughness worth of blockers. Fair enough. Says go. He should be in the clear. Yeah, two more lands from Brennan. That's not going to do it. Michael Ostrowski, Black Green Aggro. He takes the first game over to Candio. Keep in mind, this is the table one. Brennan, at, after eight rounds, is the only undefeated player in the tournament. Yeah. Another win here would put him, I mean, he's already, he's probably already in first place even if he loses. Right. He's going to have excellent tiebreakers. Yeah. We'll look over at the sideboards, though. So for Ostrowski's deck, remember, these decks have a, a medium amount of overlap. There's a lot more aggro in, my, in Ostrowski's side. He's got Siphoners. He's got Scroungers. He's got Harvesters. Uh, we'll look at his sideboard first. Three Transgress the Mind, two Fatal Push, two Heroic Intervention, two Natural State, and then some one-ofs of Appetite for the Unnatural, Gifted Aetherborn, Kalidus, Lifecrafters, Bestiary, Obnixilus Reignited, and Verderous Gearhulk. So the matchup's a lot about just kill spelling back and forth, so I like the Fatal Push, and I like Kalidus for that reason as well. Uh, just playing and killing a creature on the same turn, some good value. The Lifelink can also swing a race. Uh, Lifecrafters Bestiary is one that I haven't seen in this mirror matchup just yet. And I think I like it. You know, the scrying matters non-zero. And just drawing extra cards, and the matchup's just about casting creatures and removal spells. This card seems totally reasonable. Yeah, especially on Michael's side, where he's probably going to get outclassed in the late game. I wouldn't mind having a card that kind of plays somewhat into the late game. Yeah, and then Obnixilis and Verderous Gear all both just seem like slam dunks. We've seen Obnixilis be great in this mirror. Yeah, I mean, remember the, the Decandio Todd Anderson match? If you want to see just how good that card can be, it, it single-handedly won Brennan the third game. Yep. On Brennan's side, he's got some Lost Legacy, Natural State to the Slaughter, Yehenny's Expertise. Um, that's a card I actually might be interested in here. I'll get back to that. Uh, a Fatal Push, a Nishkana, a Kalidus, a Nissa, a Noxious Gearhulk, an Obnixilus, and a Tireless Tracker. So all the big stuff. Tireless Tracker, Obnixilus, Noxious Gearhulk, Nissa, Kalidus, presumably Ishkana as well. This should all be coming in. Uh, the more removal spells are great. We definitely have seen to the slaughter. Planeswalkers matter a lot in this matchup, and just the kill spell is great as well. How do you feel about Yeheni's expertise against the deck? You know, Michael has more X3s than Brennan does by a reasonable number. Is it enough that Brennan can go for that kind of card? It's interesting. Um, I'll be curious to see if uh, that one comes in. Though the post-cyborg games are going to be a lot more. Y you expect that Ostrowski is going to be bringing in some stuff that's pretty good against Yeheni's expertise. Uh, so I'm not sure how good that card is actually. It, it could be a lot better on the draw, you know, if you're uh, just taking some hits on the chin. Uh, on the play, though, I don't, I don't know if I like this card. Interesting. So players, we're gonna get second game. Brennan will be on the play with Black Green Delirium this time. Now, one, just if you started 2016, it does now mean that the Jacob Baugh token, the one he won back in December for winning the Invitational, that energy token is now shipping here at Star City Games. So players will be getting that through all of Season 1, which means if you come to an Open or you come to a Classic between now and June, you'll get one of these cards. And if you, we are not in your area or it's hard for you to make it out to one of these, you can get one of these in an order from StarCityGames.com. So that's going to be available uh, all of Season 1. The token is nice. The Spirit Bomb. 
what <laughs> better what better way to track your energy? So, okay, so talking about spirit bombs, um, why does are there like seal, you know, why are like aquatic creatures going on here? Well, the, polar the creatures. Polar, those the are polar the bears? those are the animals of the earth giving him their energy. Okay, is it, you know, they're polar bears, right? Is that what they're in that picture? Yeah, I mean, polar bears are just as good as any other animal. I assume that they I have mean, a lot of energy. Okay, well, yeah, they have to store it for the winter? Yeah. Okay. There's, like, nothing more to that story. It's not just... There's I, no, like, I, Dragon Ball Z sort of I, there, polar there, bears. There's like, no significance you know. of polar bears in that universe, to my knowledge. Okay. <laughs> there was only room for one or two animals, and it's a sweet one. So let's make it two polar bears. Yeah, not, I, mean, right. I mean, polar bears are sweet. <laughs> what do you want from me? For Brendan DeCandio, he's a player who's really making a name for himself here on the tour from Long Island, New York, uh, in the New York area. Four open top eights, two wins, and that's all in the last month. Uh, part of Team Next Ridge Nexus. This is really just, he has just come onto the tour in the last few events here. What I find very surprising is that he cuts his own hair. It looks so nice. How do you do that? I don't know. If I that's if so I knew hard. if I knew my hair yeah. would look like his. Since he was sixteen, that's impressive. Fair enough. How would you do the back part? You know, you have to, you just have to like get a room of mirrors and just roll the dice. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> Brandon on a mulligan here. He's on the play. I'm impressed. I'll have to learn I'll have to ask him, learn that secret. No, I'll just put a hat on anyway, though. So. Right. I was going to say, I don't know how much you could take advantage of this information. Yeah, I can, like, work on my, my sideburns. There you go. <laughs> those, those show up. <laughs> Michael keeping on seven. Yeah, looking at the finals from last time, Brennan does take on a more controlling role in this matchup. Mm-hmm. Keeping on six, scry. It's gonna be the bottom. All right, underway for a second game here for Brennan. Looks like he has Ballista Ishkana. And Grasp of Darkness, plenty of lands. So he'll he'll be playing for sure. Both players develop mana. It's gonna be on Michael really to present a threat. Even though he's up two cards here, he doesn't have the late game. Ishkanas and cards like that, like Brennan does. So what I really like about Brennan's play here is he sat on Blist on turn two, so that yeah. what happened in game one wouldn't happen again. He'll be able to kill the Glincy of Siphoner with it. Given that the Siphoner only makes one energy and requires two to suit up, there's some argument to wait until you can make the Blista a 2-2. Two -two. Michael um, would get a card off that, though, right? It mm -hmm. makes one, and then he'd attack with it and he'd get another. Well, he doesn't get. Uh, he doesn't he, draw a card. He, yet. he wouldn't draw a card until his next upkeep. Okay, so if Brennan really wanted to play it slow, he could have actually let that survive, get a real, a, a true two for one. Right. Uh, presumably, Decandio is expecting to have something else to be doing with his mana. And here's an opportunity for Brennan. Michael played another Glincy Siphoner in turn three and no third land. If Brennan can have, say, another. Ballista would be good. He'll grasp away the Siphoner. No card draw for Michael. Can Michael hit a land? Not yet. This is big. Yeah. Just a winding constrictor from Ostrowski. Two land drop misses. Brennan has Traverse, Ruinous Path, Ishkana, and Verderous Gearhulk. So Traverse the Ulven Vault. And Ruinous Path is going to be the play, getting a land. Uh, importantly, Brennan now has Delirium, Sorcery yep. Instant Artifact Creature. That Ishkana that he's going to play next Whoa. turn is going to be really good. Yeah, especially with Ostrowski getting stuck on lands. The re really, the way to beat that is to out-muscle it. You know, you can kill the 3-5, and then you're fine against the 1-2s. That's fine. Uh, but mostly breaking open combat with something like Vergerous Gearhulk is the best avenue to overcome that. And we'll see if Michael can. He does hit his third land here on turn five. So he'll get a three drop. Remember, my, Brennan has, what, two cars in his hand to seven from, my, to seven from Michael. So yep. 
as long as Michael can somehow make these cards trade, it'll be okay. Mm -hmm. but both Brennan has double five drop. We see Rishkar from Michael Ostrowski. It's like another land drop. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad at all. Brennan, Ishkana, Gearhulk removal spell. And probably a five drop of some sort. Counts, yeah, yeah, that's on. He'll play Ishkana, get three spiders. As we pass back to Ostrowski. Misses land for this turn. Or maybe not. It looks like. I think yeah. Aether Aether, it's Aether Hub. Yeah, right. It does hit. Up to three energy. Aether Sphere Harvester, two of them in hand. Those don't look good right now. No. So, sure, he's got five cards in hand to Brennan's two, but two of Michael's five cards are kind of. Kind of duds. Mm. He'll play a Harvester up to five energy. And that's, that might be, he's got two mana left over. Remember, the Rishkar can tap for green. Mm -hmm. And it will bring out a Walking Ballista. And next turn, the Walking Ballista can tap for mana as well. He's caught up on his mana woes, but uh, he's having kind of a card quality issue. Well, the Ballista can crew the Harvester, so Michael's not in danger of taking too much damage here. Mm -hmm. But I agree with you. It's, you know, he's playing three drops and two drops, and Brennan's playing fives. Yep. Got his own ballista. He'll play Verderous Gear Hulk, however. See two counters on Ishkana, two counters on Gear Hulk, making them both five power enough to swing through the Harvester. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this a lot. Now Ishkana will swing. Michael taking it goes to 15. Behind now. Is Michael. Well. And Ostrowski is really hurting for some removal spells, though a lot of what he has, he has Grasp of Darkness, Fatal Push. Uh, fatal Push is never going to kill these five mana creatures. Yeah, right. If Brian just keeps playing five drops, uh, he, there's not much he can do about it. Mm -hmm. So over on Michael's side, he is trying to find a way to race, maybe to contain these larger creatures. He's got a lot of mana now, he, something he didn't have earlier, because now all those guys with 1-1 one, one counters, they can all tap for a green thanks to Rishkar. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we see a little 2-3 Death Touch Life Link. That's something that could work as a removal spell here. Yeah, Death Touch is nice. The Gifted Aetherborn. That one out of the sideboard for Ostrowski. And Brandon doesn't sneak by that very well. Ostrowski will play another c Harvester. And he's hoping to find a way to make these cards trade. And from this point, he has enough stuff now that he kind of clogs the board. He makes Decandio's attacks not particularly good without some other backup. You know, he's made enough land drops, so he's able to produce a couple more mana sources. He can start taking over the game with the Walking Ballista. Well, so there's there's a problem here, which is that Brennan, I believe, has his own Walking Ballista. So he could make his as, a, if he can get his up to a 3-3, three, three, he can go ahead and just shoot out Michaels. That is nice. Couldn't work as a 2-2. Two -two. They, they'd end up trading in that situation. Right. But. I don't believe that Brennan has a sixth mana source. He does have a Grasp of Darkness, though. He'll grasp away the Aetherborn. Maybe not even play the Walking Ballista game, though. If his creatures are large enough, he can just attack. Uh, Michael did not crew before his creature died, I don't believe. I think he did. That's he why, did? That's he why did he, crew That's one? why he split him up. 
Oh, okay. Rish Car is the play from Brennan. Okay, with Rish Car, he'll be able to make a sizable ballista in the following turn. Right, because all the guy the creatures with one one counters, they'll be able to tap for mana. Mm -hmm. So this is interesting. He could put the counters on his large creatures, or he could put them on the small ones. He's going to put one on Gear Hulk, one on Rishkar. But that still doesn't really get Gear Hulk big enough to matter, I guess. He's going to swing. I guess it would be a, a two-for-one, right? If Michael double blocks one of these creatures with the two vehicles, then, then his Ballista could finish it off. Well, what uh, pumping the gear hulk does is it makes it so a double block doesn't kill the gear hulk. The gear hulk is still, yeah. still only killing one of the things. Well, it would need the ballista to join in. You'd have right. to, you, so it'd be a two for one. Then. Yeah, what it does is it insulates it in combat this turn. Yeah, inside of combat. Now, Michael still might have to make the trade. You see, he crews up the second harvester. So this is six power. Both these guys have seven toughness. So if Michael's double blocking here, then then do you think that Walking Ballista will get involved? Well, the Candio can't cast it this turn. No, no, a Michael's Ballista. Oh, to sure, sure. To finish it off. Gotcha, gotcha. Right, that's so that's what I'm saying. It's a two for one. Mm -hmm. You see the double block here. Michael and, taking uh, five. Decandio is yeah. fine getting the Ballista off the table too. That's what. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This is still a win for Decandio. Looks like some lifelink happened there on both creatures. So Michael at 16, but he does lose the two for one. And Brandon just pushes the advantage. His cards are more powerful, and they're forcing Michael into some poor trades. Mm -hmm. And in the following turn, I expect a 3-3 Ballista coming down for DeCandio. Verdurous Gear Hulk to play for Michael. That's a nice one. And we'll see how he wants to put the counters around. Splitting up between the Rish car and the Gear Hulk. Mm -hmm. yeah, the Harvester, not currently a creature, he would have to use the Gear Hulk to crew it. as he had to use Rishkar yeah. to cast it. Right, so even then he wouldn't be able to put the 1-1 one -one counters on it. There wouldn't be. So he has a 7-7 seven -seven Gear Hulk and a 4-4 four -four Rishkar. And they'll just go ahead and pass the turn, leaving them back as blockers. So right now, the, the Gear Hulk is big enough to block everything. We'll see how long that stays, though. Mm -hmm. DeCandio could produce a ruinous path. Yeah. Right. That'd be significant. Yeah. Last card in DeCandio's hand, Tireless Tracker and Walking Ballista. So no removal right now, but the Ballista, I mean, now if he's the only player with a Ballista, that, that's going to do work for him. Yes. If he attacks the Ishkana and the Gear Hulk blocks it, then the Ballista can shoot it twice. Can also just hang out now. Six mana from DeCandio makes a Ballista as a 3-3. Three, three. He'll pass. He has five lands and three creatures with 1-1 one -one counters, which means every turn Brennan could add two more to the Ballista. Michael's got to watch out for that. And it looks again, Fatal Push. That one always kills a walking Ballista. And unfortunately, there's no creature that the Ballista can take down. Yeah, it's only three counters, so upstairs might be the best that Brennan can do with these three 1-1 one -one counters. Mm -hmm. The alternative is to try to manipulate combat this turn, but I think Brennan's fine if the Gear Hulk's attacking anyway. Yeah, he'd likely be able to... I mean, he might just take it mm. and race back. Right. That seems fine. Michael will do it. Here's the 7-7. Seven, seven. It'd be pretty risky for Brennan to do a triple block on this. It would... On the board, it would kill it if there was no trick. Mm -hmm. Could throw all four creatures in front. But right. then if there's a removal spell for the Ishkana specifically, there's not a lot that can do that. Yeah, but like a, a grasp. grasp. Yeah. That'd actually kill all of them. Right. Grasp would. So Brennan takes the seven. So it's 13-13. Life totals are evened up. Brennan makes Tireless Tracker for the turn. Plays a land, gets a clue. Well, that's another way he can approach this. 
Just card advantage his way out. Mm -hmm. But no cards in hand, which means Michael might, we might see him run back the same attack. If it worked last turn, I would certainly expect him to make that attack. Well, yeah, he's got perfect information. The, pro the question is, is that if, if the attack's too strong, then Brennan's going to call him on it. Mm -hmm. And if then, so if Michael's going to do that, he better make sure that he's not bluffing. Right. We see the Ballista once again on one from Michael. Brennan Clack cracks a clue in response. Remember, he still has two green available. And it looks like Verderous Gear Hulk will attack. Brennan's got to be careful. He goes to six here. The Ballista might kill him. Yeah. And he's going to block with everything except for the tireless tracker. Yeah. Push my creatures forward. You tell me what happens in combat. So we have, with all these blockers, a 5 7 Ishkana, 3 1 2 Spiders, and a 3 3 Rishkar. And even taking four power off with the grasp, this is still going to be enough yeah. to kill the gear hole. Yeah, it's 11 power. And then 16 points of toughness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need something more than a grasp. And so in the end, it's just tr gear Hulk trading with Rishkana. And then Fatal Push on the Tracker and Fatal Push on the Rishkar. Oh, yeah, so that creature leaving the battlefield was fine. Well, I do want to hold up for a second. No, there, there was no way to save it, I guess. Even if he Fatal Pushes the Rishkar and Fatal Pushes a Spider, it still dies. Well, he couldn't. Well, he, he, could, he could kill his Ballista and then Fatal Push the Rishkar. Uh, giving it the Ballista doesn't seem great. No, there, there's no way to make it survive. Mm -hmm. You go back to Brennan's side, he plays a. Winding Constrictor and says go. So now it's a top deck war between the two players. I guess Michael needed to make that play because Tireless Tracker, no matter what, that card had to be killed. Yes. It ate his Aether Sphere Harvester. Could do work now. There's Brennan does not have a good block on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the three spiders is not enough power. Yeah, looks like that's what Michael will do. But the 1-1 one, one Walking Ballista crews the Harvester. The 3-5 is going to fly over. And Brent Michael will give it lifelink on top of it. So he'll go up to 16, Brennan down to 10. Plenty of energy in the reserve. And Brennan drawing Tireless Tracker, and there's the land. He's holding a land in his hand. A Blossoming Martian of Sand, just in case he drew a Tireless Tracker. A really good line there. Yep. And you see, with that trigger on, Michael will pay four, put a second counter on Ballista, and then shoot down Tireless Tracker before the clue's in play. That makes sense. That card matters a lot more than the Walking Ballista. Yeah, I mean, look at the combo, right? There would have been a Walking a Constrictor and a Tireless Tracker, so two 1-1 one, one counters every time he cracked a clue. Michael <laughs> couldn't let that happen. It's a nice combo. Two cards on Ostrowski's hand. One of them's a land. He'll play it. And does he crew Harvester? Does he keep going? He's thinking about it. Yeah, why not? Crew the crew the crew the ship and fly over. Brennan cracks the clue. Takes three. Goes to seven, and Michael will go up to nineteen. Passes. Last card in Michael's hand. Just a basic forest. And Brennan. Brennan has something slightly better drawn this turn. Here's another combo. Verderous Gearhulk, four targets with this <laughs> Winding Constrictor. They're all going to get two 1-1 one, one counters, not just one. That is nice. Yeah, what, 12 power for five mana? I'm pretty in. It's a good rate. Eight of it has haste. <laughs> sure. Now, Brennan needs to be careful he's not dead on the swing back. He's at seven, and Michael has seven power on the table, potentially. Mm -hmm. so see Brennan divvying up these dice. Two power every, everywhere. 
thanks to the constrictor. And we'll see what kind of attack he favors. Looks like he's going to go for something pretty small. Michael is at 19. Mm -hmm. He's more concerned about losing the game on the crack back than he is about trying to close it quickly. Right. He's got a significant advantage with creatures. There's no reason to just get too aggressive and throw it away. Yeah, a two-creature swing puts Michael back down to 14. Well, we're in game two, four, just under 15 minutes remaining. As we look toward a game three, the players, this could become a concern. Yes. Here is Winding Constrictor from Ostrowski, a land and a pass. He's out of cards. Uh, plays the forest because it enables him to crew a hissing quagmire on the turn. Yeah. But no more attacks for Ostrowski. The spiders now are 3 4 reaches. So a 3 5 flyer wouldn't really. would just get double blocked and killed. And the Candio's holding now two basic lands. Yeah, we saw him hold on to lands before for cards like for his tireless trackers. Now he's only got three trackers in the 75, so that's becoming less of a thing as two of them are already dead. Mm -hmm. Quagmire and Verderous Gear Hulk will be the attackers. It looks like Ostrowski wanting to activate his own creature land, see if it's where the blocks happen. Look like it's going to be his death toucher in front of the Gear Hulk. So we take four points of trample. Maybe two more points off that quagmire. Yeah, I feel like all of the creatures that he has in play currently matter more than the quagmire. So I like taking that hit. Yeah, six points. Michael will, Ostrowski will drop down to eight. And we go back to his turn, drawing off the top of the deck. He wants something good here. He's left his Constrictor in play just in case he hits, you know, something like his own Gear Hulk. Mm -hmm. Looks like he drew something. He's looking toward crewing or possibly attacking. He's going to crew. This is great, the Harvester. And he's going to play his own Rish car. It's a second Rish car. So this Legend rules away, away, will Legend rule away one of the Rish cars. And, yeah, if he looks like he's dividing the counters. Interesting. Onto the other two creatures. He decides to keep the smaller Rishkar because it's untapped. Yeah, he is at eight. That's fair. Says go. <laughs> Another Constrictor the draw for Brennan. That, not good right now, but could lead to some really fun draws down the line. <laughs> And here's Hissing Quagmire. It swings. It trades with Michael's Rishkar. And another Constrictor for Brennan. Can Michael counter back? Right now, still doesn't want to attack. Oh, my. And what a draw about this one. He's going to have his Constrictor crew the Aether Sphere Harvester. Then he plays a Verderous Gear Hulk he drew off the top. Counters for everything and a lot of counters for his Flyer. Yes. It's going to leave the Harvester as a seven power creature. Well, what it, Brennan has nine points of reach, nine power of reach. So if he can get that, that Harvester up to a 10 toughness, then it can't be killed anymore. I know it seems kind of extreme, and that, that's what he's going to okay. do. Yep, I like that allocation. One and three. So that's thanks to the Constrictor that'll turn to this, two and six. So it is a nine, nine power, 11 toughness Harvester. And that's going to swing. Decandio's at seven. I mean, he's got to, he's got to make a play. Even just this swing in terms of lifelink matters oh, a lot. Nine points of lifelink. That's huge. Yeah. And Michael will take that. So Michael back up to seventeen. Ugh. Basic forest. The draw from Decandio. That's not going to play. He passes back. Yeah, definitely needed something better than that. Ostrowski. Another draw. Cruise the Harvester. It's going to get Brennan to chump away those spiders. And yeah, just the flyer. But Brennan, just a chump. Michael, sure, nine more life, up to 26. Yeah, and this game is really sleep, slipping away. Uh, the way that the matchup really plays out, it's about attrition. 
there's not a lot in the way of haymakers from this position that you can come back from behind with. Yeah, and if you look at the story here, Michael just played his sixth land of the game, and for Brennan, he's got eight in play, one in the graveyard, and a tenth one in the hand. And though he's actually drawn more cards this game, he hasn't had the kind of card quality that Michael's had. Mm -hmm. And now Michael's had enough that the Verderous Gear Hulk is going to join in on the attack. The spider will chump block. Michael goes to 35. Brennan goes to 1. And Brennan only has access to the one copy of Ishkana, so that's not even something that he can top deck from here. Mindrack Demon the draw. That's just not going to do it. And the last undefeated player goes down. Brennan DeCandio in first place at 8 0. He is defeated in two by Michael Ostrowski. So both players will be 8 1 and in a tie for first place starting tomorrow morning.